Hello, we're live. Original Entrepreneurs Life Changers, how are you? Everyone, welcome back to our Momentum Monday inside of our group, Abundant Entrepreneurs. We've been gathering here every Monday since over one year ago, right? Today is our 90s, 90s, 90s episode. I'm super happy to share with you this new message. Creating brings you freedom. How many of you would like to comment under the video? Let me know if you feel you are free. Do you feel free every day? When think about when do you feel like you are free? And today, actually, I want to share with you a story that brought me into this, uh, you know, this consideration. This uh, what kind of topic? Normally, when I review, right, what I want to share with you for this Momentum Monday every week, I want to bring you the best inspirations and the latest uh, great learning I want to share with you. And this weekend. I have a long, not same friend who is visiting me uh, from, you know, I could not say where he did he come from. You know, he's traveling all over the world. His family is based in Holland and uh, Amsterdam, around the Amsterdam area, and he is actually working internationally. He has been working with uh, like very well-known international companies, and now recently, I just we have not get it back into. Uh, like a touch for long, long time since last time we met in the U.S. in Orlando when I was still living in Orlando. He visited us uh, in, in in New York before, and then in Orlando brought his family with us and had fun together in Disneyland. And this time, and then since then he like disappeared, worldwide traveling everywhere, just like a thriving for his business, right? For his, for his career actually, actually nothing. Business. He's been working with those well-known big companies, and for those people he met, you cannot imagine. You even like uh, the the Europe uh, Union's uh, chairman and all those kind of like a uh, world-class uh, leader leader leadership people. And this time he came to the U.S., traveling almost like uh, over three weeks. I'm glad he still remember me, right? So anyway, we get back into like a uh, connection and. Uh, he he only had one day, like luxurious like day, to like Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, so that's the only time he could spend by himself. Other days he's all like traveling worldwide here and there, states, different cities, and he's uh, by the way the chief strategy officer of a big company, and they are bringing a very innovative technologies uh, related to. Sonar, sonar energy. You know, I'm not quite into those uh, like detailed of technology, but I know that's so popular, and they know that in the U.S. there's there's almost like a blank in this area. The technology and the industry is not so as uh, this how to say advanced as the the, uh, the technology they are bringing in in the U.S. So they they're even planning to meet Biden to see if they can meet the the president to, to really develop this like new technology and also the industry. Uh, and factory and everything, right? Like presence in in the U.S. because it's it's totally like a, a absence here in the U.S. So it sounds like good news, but to my surprise, he's like almost like super successful. He's like my college alumni compared with other my other alumni. He's one of the most uh, successful one. But guess what? To my big success, uh, like surprise, after ten years we. Not nine years, almost close to ten years, we had not met each other. To my success, uh, the surprise is that he's more successful. But what he shared with me got me a shock. Like he told me honestly, right? Because we're old friends, he told me like he's not feeling that kind of meaning of life anymore. He's actually half a year younger than me. We're close to fifty. Can you imagine that? So he's younger, a little bit younger than me. But he's telling me that、uh, he's not feeling meaning, big meaning from life, even though he's working for big companies like、uh, big names and big projects, right? Everything sounds like to outside people feel like super successful and exciting projects. But he said he's not feeling like too much excited or like meaningful, and、uh, he feel like his purpose here is only here to. To like make money and to support his family, he has a he he does have the the big love for his children. He has two son, two sons, and、uh, when he talked about his sons, he he has that kind of like a I can see that kind of a peaceful smile and kind of a love from him. 
But when he talks about other things, there's not so much, right? He's not excited. But anyway, I fortunately he has a he has a passion or has a fun in playing badminton. Has been playing for many years. I I just found out that by accident I was inviting him to play badminton with me and some of our my, my friends here in the in a in Long Island in New York in Long Island、uh, badminton center. So quite a coincidence. I'm glad that he said. He said thanks, like because he has been traveling the whole month and almost every day he had no almost a break. Like most time is, can you imagine that? When most time if you are traveling, even though you are worldwide going to all these fancy places, Europe, U.S., like、uh, South Africa, all these kind of places and Asia as well, all fancy places, you get tired of it. <laughs> if you are traveling every day, you are not getting any joy from it. Like many of us, we are imagining、like, traveling worldwide, right, to enjoy life, to to like feel like that will be our fancy dream lifestyle. But if you are Traveling almost every day, far from your family, like not spending much time with them, and、uh, all on in a, in a career in a business, you will get bored. Okay, you will get like、oh, could not you you get lost to yourself. You could okay, you could not find a real meaning of what you are doing. Okay, so、uh, okay anyway, we we had a fun time badminton, and、uh, you know <laughs> that it's a good time to to bond with some new friend friends, right? It's my friend, but. Uh, he's not really into that kind of a new friendship, but、uh, at least、uh, he he enjoyed playing badminton. But I can feel that there's something knocking from him. So I was chatting with him,、uh, and as a friend and also as a coach, right? That that's almost like my、uh, my pattern is like always want to help people, and、uh, especially also he's my longtime friend. Even though he disappeared so many years, I still forgive him. Okay,、uh, even though I I sent quite some invitation to him, but he never responded. But now till now he showed up in the U.S. in the、uh, in the New York. So I still treated him well, invited him to play badminton, and then treated him to our like a chat、uh, like a chat Chinatown to to eat a hot pot. So we had a good bonding time. But when I was chatting with him, I missed. The, I feel like I missed something. I was asking him, "Are you are you doing some like、um, meditation every day?" And he said, "No time. His only time. He said that the only time I have is like a sleep." Sleep in the airplane. <laughs> that's a, maybe that's only his relaxation time. He's a, it's a good time to to just fall into sleep when you get into a plane. And then once you get off the plane, he's in a busy mode, right? So I told him, only one minutes, okay, one minute or、oh, five five minutes. Sorry, I said only five minutes every day. If you can do some meditation, you can reconnect with yourself, so you will not forget yourself among all this kind of busyness, right? So I hope you will listen to that. Anyway, I know that he already get certain like success, and、um, maybe he will not listen to me anymore, right? But from our from respect of a friendship, I think he's still like、mm, nodding, and I know that he's、uh, also I encourage him to keep this uh, uh, habits of、uh, at least try to find one time a week to do his like a badminton. At least he likes it very much. He has been playing it for thirty years, and sometimes he attend like his company's competition. And a club, they have a club, a club for badminton as well. So that's another one. I encourage him to find more regular time, even not regular, right? At least try to find one chance to keep his、uh, this hobby. And another one, in addition to meditation, I also ask him, Are you still connected with other alumni? Guess what? He said, He said he never posts anything. In the alumni group, he's just like he's disappeared. Or, or some people said it's just like hidden bubbles, right? Those <laughs> hidden people, like invisible people. He, he he because he's super busy in all his business or and career development or family. So he never. But I found what is missing. That's why today I want to share with you. I did not feel like even though he he earns much much more money right than us, but I did not feel like he has that joy and freedom. And if he feels like he's like, I'll say, he's doing all this just for supporting his family, but I know, as I, I told him, I said you are too humble because you are making so much money. It's not just to supporting your family. Even though you maybe like、uh, the the money you earned, I I was encouraging him to do some non-profit thing. He said, oh my 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 wife. Anyway, he retired his wife、uh, at her 40 years old, right? He, she does not need to work anymore, and she's just、uh, taking care of the、uh, two kids. So he, he said that my wife is、uh, using my money to is just like doing all these kind of charity things. 
But it's, it's different. It's different, okay? When you are doing the charity things, non-profit things, you participate, it's totally different feeling. Instead of just net your money to net your uh, like relatives or your family to do the charity for you. I was joking that. I said, okay, great. At least your, your wife is doing non-profit and then she's using your money to do good things for you. At least you get blessed, right? So, but I would encourage him to participate, to find something like um, he may be interested to participate when he gets some time. So I, I reminded him to do this. Um, so today, actually, I want to share with you. Last night, I, when I was when I get home, I was reflecting his life. It's not long, right? Uh, the whole afternoon and evening time we spent together, but it's compared with uh, the whole 10 years. It's very short gathering. But I hope some of my talking inspired him because at least my positivity, my abundance thinking could still inspire him. He said, like, okay, good. You, you, are, you are still, like, maybe he's surprised, right? Many people around him maybe not so positive or like, have abundance. And at least he get feel like inspired and uh, cheerful from my side. And also I hope that my sharing could inspire him, encourage him, and we will keep in touch, right? And will not disappear another 10 years. He said, oh, <laughs> he joked that he will put me in into his list to notice when he dies. I said, gosh, don't. <laughs> don't focus on that part, okay? I do not want to be just put into that list to be noticed after you die. I want to, you know, I I, I told him, you know, after death, nothing, nothing really exists. I do not, even though I believe in God, I do not believe in afterlife, okay? Doesn't matter whatever you believe or not, it's totally the most, make, the most important, important meaning is like uh, here, when you are still alive, alive today, now, you can do what you love to do and contributing your gifts, contributing your values to this world, right? That's that's what only matters. I told that to him. I said, it only matters when you are still alive, you keep in touch with me. I do not want to hear when you are dying, you die, then somebody notice me. Okay, after that, I get your news. And it's meaningless. You know, I may cry, I you know, feel very sad for you, and but there's no meaning anymore. We could not communicate, right? We could not exchange. We could not support each other. And then what? I said, only now, when you are still alive, matters. So keep me in touch, I told him. He said, well, keep flying all around the world. He does not know where the next stop he will be, right? But I encourage him, I said, at least keep me, at, keep me in touch when you like have uh, some big, big change. For example, if you buy a big house in, in, in Holland, I will go to there to visit you maybe. And... Um, Maybe you change to another a big, uh, big uh, like um, company, change your career, change your direction. Keep me updated. I told him that. I hope he will be. <laughs> I hope he will keep me uh, uh, updated. I do not want to receive when I receive the next news. It's like he's dead. Okay, no, definitely. But anyway, when I return home, that get me into a deep reflection or thinking. Many people, many people. Okay, when they are successful. Now the definition is like uh, out from outsiders, right? That definition is that they are successful. They work, uh, they work for big companies. They meet uh, like influential, like celebrities and big uh, names. Uh, those big um, like people, right? Um, big impactful people, and make a lot of money, and travel all around the world. You sounds like they are successful, but inside of the inside of them, how many of them really feel like they are successful? How many of them really like admit that or, or being appreciative of their success you know they are they are super smart they are genius so that's why they make that like a word defined success all this kind of you know from money from uh, impact influence everything right material and everything but how many of them are really feel that inside they are free and abundant so that's why today I want to share with you this message and actually I wrote down on my notebook every day I have my only very critical ones I write on my, my notes. Okay, here I'm using, by the way, Tony Robbins' uh, notebook, like uh, change your story, change your life. I hope today's story can really inspire you. So while I keep uh, inspiring my friends, I hope we will keep in touch so I could, uh, you know, bring really more abundance to in influence him. Okay, that's why I wish. And um, here, if I have a whiteboard, I will write this down to you. Okay, whiteboard today about this uh, contemplation, connection, and creation. That's what I want to share with you today the most. And why today's topic is really creating brings you freedom. 
how many of you? But first, I want to con- emphasize these first two C, the contemplation. This part is really you need connect with yourself first, you know, create and also connect with your creator, the big source of your energy with your purpose and meaning. Many, 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 like sounds like successful people, they lose their meaning. They only think their family will, is their purpose, like supporting a family is their purpose. Then that's so narrow, so narrow perspective and meaning of your life. Your life is not just only for your most loved ones, your family. By the way, I have the picture of my family. This is two, three, almost three years ago, two years ago. We took this uh, in Hawaii, Hawaii, right? It's by the sea. My, even though now I separated with my husband, um, I share a lot of story, but that's another story, right? Because of not loyalty from his side. But my life, I know that I have a, two beautiful, great kids. I love them. I, deep, I still love my, my ex, right? And I forgive him and I love him. And I also, you know, do whatever I could to support him. I always wish him the best. But I understand at the same time, my life here is not just for my family. They are my honor, they are my blessing, but I'm not here just for them. I'm here for a bigger purpose. And that's what also like helped me survive my like, years ago suicide and uh, resurrected from that darkest time of my life for quite some years. Resurrection, because of the big purpose, the true meaning of my life. I'm here not just defined as a wife, not just defined as a daughter, not just defined as a mother. I'm here as a coach, not just even not just a coach, okay? I'm here. I define myself as God's daughter, as God blessed angel. I'm a blessing to this world. I'm here to help many, many other people. As many as I could. I imagine like whole I could impact the whole world by impacting many, many leaders, leaders in this world. I in my calculation, okay. I'm a Chinese background, okay, I'm good at math. So for Eight billions of people worldwide. How many people I need to impact? I was calculating. It's like I need to impact at least 100,000, 100,000 leaders. Every one of them, if they impact 8,000 people, is that correct? Mass, 100 million. Let me see. <laughs> Quick mass, okay. 100 million uh, times 8,000. Is that uh, eight billion? Um, let me see. Eight billion. Uh, How many zeros we have? That's more. That's more than it. Okay. So if I help 100,000 people, all of them, if they can impact other thousands, or eight thousands of people, right? I can really help this world transform. Even though I'm not just like by my own, right, to change all these people's lives. But if I could contribute just one little bit every day, like for example, empower just the one leader today, one leader. A time okay and they could impact hundreds of thousands of their world and their network I will feel like I'm so valuable okay I'm contributing so it doesn't matter the math I'm, I'm not really calculating that now but at least I know that I'm, my purpose here will at least impact hundreds of thousands of leaders so that they also impact thousands of other people then together we really can create that kind of ripple effect to make this world better Abundance of all, abundance of all. That's my movement. Okay. Anyway, that's uh, the big picture of the meaning part. If you could not find a meaning, that's why I said this this contemplation, contemplation. Okay, contemplation part is super important for you to do. For example, a daily meditation. That's one way. I will share a few more. Me- daily meditation. Every morning and night, I do my abundance meditation. I do my visualization. I use my incantation and connect with God, I connect with my creator, connect with that universal superpower or force, whatever you call that, right? Universal intelligence. But I connect me, this limited me, this small me, right? When you just look at yourself, you look like so small, so limited. But if you connect with that bigger purpose, that bigger creator, you will feel like you're unlimited. That's true, right? I hope comment under the video let me know if you have connected with your creator with your big universal intelligence have you created that source because that's our secret source if you just look inside of yourself just look at yourself majority time we have the negative 
talks, right? Even like my friend, he's talking not just with inside of himself, he's also talking to his good friends. I know that he's not sharing that with any with other people like his colleagues, his other friends, right? But he's sharing this only with his like long time old friends who he, he does not need to build up the defense, right? He just could like be himself. Then he would talk about his true thoughts. But from there, I know that he's missing that contemplation part every day. That that part to connect him with himself and also connect with his creator, with that universal intelligence. Otherwise, you will feel like your life is not meaningful, so meaningful. You will feel like, oh, I'm only doing this, it's not so meaningful. Unless you connect with this universal intelligence, with your true true purpose. Only till that, you will find that true meaning. Okay, so that's why I encourage every day for all entrepreneurs. We are so lucky. We are entrepreneurs. So many of us in my circle. I'm happy that I can. By the way, I have like do have like old friends like this, right? And also have um, so many new friends in my, for example, in my abundant entrepreneurs community. I'm very cautious to guard with who, whoever I let into my world, right? So I focus on coaches, authors, speakers, consultants, life changers. Uh, visionary entrepreneurs, like uh, creative experts, all these people, they are here. They are passionate about their passion. They are called, like, a, like Russell Brunson mentioned, like it's like the driven, the driven people who has a purpose and who wants to contribute to their values to this world. So I focus my majority of my circles on those people, right? And I also I'm here to empower them so that because they could become a leaders so to impact people in their niche. So that's where my focus the circle is. But so we are lucky uh, as a passionate entrepreneurs, right? We know our, what is our passion, what do we want to transform, but uh, transform the world. But the uh, majority time, just as human beings, we still have all these kind of negativities inside of us and also around us, right? Just like the, my friend, I know that his negative energy, if I'm not an abundance person, if I'm not uh, like uh, lifting him up, I will be in like dragged down by him as well, right? Think about how successful he looks like to majority of other people. And um, if I just listen to him, I will get feel down. Okay, ah, sounds like not so meaningful. Okay, I'm not even making as much money as he's making. And I'm even not just meeting those like influential people like he's meeting, right? Or like traveling all around the world. If I follow his, that kind of a pattern, I could get into that kind of downward. But fortunately, because I've already been saved, being trans, like transformed and resurrected by by the, by God, by my God, and also by the universal intelligence. Uh, so so far, I will use my God. Okay, maybe different from your God. It's totally fine. Okay, as long as you get that great source of love and energy, and want to contribute to this world, doesn't matter how you define your God. I would all welcome. Okay, your God. Uh, I will be great if you have your God. Instead of a majority, quite some people they do not even have that faith and believe. Okay. So, and some other ways for com, uh, contemplation. Uh, one is a great way is meditation, right, and uh, infl- uh, and visualization. And another ways is including your reading, your learning. Those ways will will give you in, like really feed you nutrition. Our 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 body, oh no, now our mind and our soul, our heart, right, is also similar to our body. We need nutrition to feed us. The nutrition to Keep us growing. Your body needs the nutrition every day to survive and grow, right? As our adults, we've already stopped growing, but our, I should not say stopped growing. It's like from outside, we looks like stopped growing, but inside all the cells is still growing, right? The old cells die and the new cells grow. So our whole body is still growing, okay? So, and change, <laughs> keep changing. So we need that nutrition and our soul, our heart, our mind, all need nutrition as well. So you need to keep learning, keep feeding yourself positive things and abundance things, right? And meaningful things so that you could keep growing and also connect, you could connect with that true source of your, your life. And also another way, journaling, like I did, right? This, I use the notebook, journal only the most important one, things, the inspirations. And for example, the new plan, sometimes I get this, Develop a great, great uh, um, habit. Always journal down right away. 
whatever inspirations you get, okay, those sparklings, those sparkles, write them down. This is a great habit, not just the type in your cell phone. I do have a cell phone to set up my goals, everyday goals, right? Sometimes if I'm traveling outside or going outside, I do not have my notebook with me. I will I will write on my Evernote on my cell phone. But the really the best way, every night before I go to sleep, I found the best way is really use my notebook to use my pen, all this traditional way, okay, to write down things. And I know that there's a scientific research that this way will really um, physically use your pen to write down things. It's really like reading, strengthening your inspirations, getting maybe your new, um, it's all related to like scientifically your senses to connect with them and get, give you the deeper impression and better learning, okay? As just Tony Robbins also shared that before, like he's, he's one of the crazy guys uh, always take notes, take a lot of notes during like his learning, right? That's why he learned so much and uh, embedded that into himself so much, right? So also another way is like after you learn, for example, I just attended uh, Funnel Hacking Live. I shared a lot on my in my network. Uh, all those over 30 famous, great uh, speakers, right? I learned from them. I, I reviewed their notes. So taking notes is definitely a great way. Okay, journaling, that's one way. Another great way, never forget, forget, okay? You, no matter if you believe in God or not, prayers, prayers is a powerful way, okay? I know that quite some people, they do not believe in God, but they, they sometimes pray when it's very super important thing, right? For example, get, getting your driver's license in New York City <laughs> and other people like uh, parents, I know my, my father told me, even though he does not believe in like a Buddha, right? He prayed for me when I was taking like a, the like a college uh, admission exam. That's many years ago. He he told me later about that. He did not share with me right away, but only after I went to my uh, the my ideal university, he he told me that way. But I appreciate him anyway. But I do not want you to do that, okay? If you do not truly believe in that, but I know human beings come from time with our limitations, right? Majority of time, maybe you find the limitations. That's why. Sometimes even if you do not have that faith and belief, you still pray. But at least I believe that kind of sincerity at that time is still great. I still appreciate my dad did that thing, okay, even though he did not believe in the, any kind of a, like a religion. So, but I would encourage you to really do the prayers. Even you have not get in that kind of a faith and belief yet, but still pray. I have this great habit. I really appreciate that and we developed this, uh, this habit through those darkest time when I and my kids we like every everything like around us so dark and his their dad left us and uh, he basically almost like abandoned the, the marriage and the family he left and me and the kids were just like uh, suffering so much but through that darkest time we developed this prayer habits till today years later till today every day every night it's our habit it's our routine it's our it's our like um, emotional and also spiritual connection between me and the kids and our god we always pray before kids i send them to into sleep we always pray even though if i'm traveling i will tell i will tell kids i will pray for you and you guys pray inside of yourself the mom is not around you so prayers are powerful and will really help you bring you into that humble humble state and connect you with your creator with your god with your superpower that can really give bring you the peace that's the first level the peace and then empower you into that faith level with faith we can do anything right so that's the first part of contemplation and then the second part is connection that's a reflection from when i after I left, uh, after my friends, right, I, I sent him back to his hotel in, in downtown, Ma not downtown, in Manhattan, Times Square area. So he's living in uh, the great uh, hotel. After I dropped him off and driving back to my home, right, I sent the kids to the bed and had our routine prayers and, uh, you know, had a great, uh, peaceful, not kind of a holy time before kids leave. That's, that's a very important thing. And then... I was getting back to, I could not rest, like, um, because the, the experience and my friend's talk really stirred me, stirred me a lot to reflect and to think about 
what's the true meaning and why he's not finding his meaning and what's what's the most important thing for entrepreneurs to find so the for what he's lacking right and, and that's a, like a reflection for me to find what is super critical for us to find that meaning and joy and abundance in our life so that's the first part I just shared the contemplation. The second part is truly connection. Remember I mentioned he never post anything in an alumni group. He never he told me he's not sending any like a holiday greetings to friends, even close friends. So he's not like and also he's not really using actively like also volunteering use his money to uh, to contribute to to non profit, right? All these kind of things. So he's not giving. And another observation is like, uh, for example, he's not sending us any gift. Like he visited us, he enjoyed the time, but he's not giving us anything. I'm okay with that. And uh, we've already like, uh, we treated him quite some time. So he's much, much more richer than us, but he never gave us anything. So I feel like, wow, his, his connection part, that's, that's the second part I want to share with you. Connection part is so missing. No wonder he feel like his life is not so meaningful because he's only focusing on his own success and his own family. That kind of narrow area. I don't know if you meet somebody in your life that, uh, that is like living in that kind of narrow area. I want to use this example. By the way, if some of you may be, may be telling me, oh, this friend sucks, he maybe not deserve you, you should like, disconnect with him. But while I'm still connecting with him, maybe I think, for example, today he gave me, he did bring me that from from another angle, right? Bring me this then kind of an inspiration from another angle instead of from the abundance angle. From abundance angle, if I'm looking at this situation, you know, this is new inspiration to me as well. As abundant person, how to deal with people who are not abundant, who are not giving, who are not like who are really like narrow-minded, only focus on their own success, right? So. This is still great. Let's say maybe it's the value he, he contributed. And yesterday also asked him to take some pictures for us. So encourage him to contribute. I encourage him actually to involve and to contribute. And by the way, I also encourage him to give the tips to after we finish the hot pot of dinner. I asked him, I, I was actually did not on purpose, did not do that on purpose. I was uh, trying to find my cash to give the because all the restaurants they prefer cash for, for tips. So I was trying to find my cash, but I did not have that exchange. I asked him, do you have that exchange? I want to pay him back. But he said, oh, no, 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 it's okay. Okay, so at least he contributed, right? So that's an opportunity for him to contribute. And and so this a connection part. It's really like, a, you do not want just to connect with like your family, not small, close, like his parents, his, uh, his own family, right? That's too narrow. You want to connect with, here, I write down so many. You want to find your role models, right? You want to connect with the success, successful ones. Like last uh, last week, I attended the the Funnel Hacking Live. Those successful ones, I I I search them on Instagram, on Facebook, and I follow them. And so that helped me connect with them, right? Even like we had like one time uh, meeting during the the con con uh, the convention when they shared all these great messages and so by following them i could get more inspirations right and other connections for example our clients for example i connect so much with my clients i care about for example recently my clients had a wedding i congratulate uh, congratulate them and also share some inspirations with them right so and you care about them what's going on in their life and some of them even they did not pay me I still treat them as my clients, as my paid clients, because when I see that they are in needs, they are struggling. Like one of the friends and the new made friends during the funnel hacking life, she's struggling. She, she's almost gave up. She feel like frustrated. She does. She feel like she does not have enough time. She does not have enough money to invest herself. She feel like she will always fail because she failed so many times before. She feel. I did not want to waste my money. I will, I will fail again. I, I could not do this. I could not even, you know, bother to, to, to hang out with those people. They irritated me. All this kind of that, 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 all this kind of old stories, right? So even though I did not get any pay, right? I treated him as my, her as my uh, paid clients. I coached her right away on site during a break time, two hours, two hours to encourage her, to brought her back to this abundance state. And now she's on fire. She's connected with me, and you know she needs that connection. She said, "I could not survive without you." Even though I, I encourage her. I said, "Yes, you can. You can do it even without me." I always empower her. 
but she really uh, enjoy and appreciate this kind of connection. So this is just one example, like uh, with your clients, with uh, like uh, with people you, who are just struggling, you can connect, right? And people who like you can learn from, just like uh, both sides. People you can learn from, you get inspired, and people you can help, you can also get inspired. Because when she was so struggling, she was getting into her tears. I can feel her pain, you know, the pains. That helped me connect deeper with my call, with my, like, the, this kind of a mission that I can, I'm here to help them. I'm here to bless them. That helped me to strengthen my faith and my steps in my journey as well. So I appreciate her as well, right? So all these kind of connections and also, why, like, the peers, right, your partners. I'm now assembling an a ally. I call the ally with all this implementation uh, experts in different areas to help our visionary entrepreneurs and life changers like coaches, author, speakers to bring down messages to the market, right? We need the funnel builders. We need the content creators. We need uh, like uh, uh, copywriters. We need uh, marketing people. We need the sales people, right? All this and also community support people. We need all this kind of implementation expert to help us to bring our you know, life changing messages to help more people. Right, if like we are leaders, we cannot just lead with our team. We need the teams to support us to make things happen. So that's all this kind of connection I want to encourage you to build around yourself, 360 degree. Sometimes even including those old friends, right? Like we keep evolving and changing, our friends keep changing. Some of them maybe become better, but some of them maybe become negative during the different life stage stages. You do not, they, they are just like your old friends, just like your family, right? You do not just uh, cut off them, right? You you still, you cannot choose, you still keep that friendship. So I was initially struggling, I said, oh, 10 years we did not connect. Uh, should I still like, um, how to say, re re resume this connection with him and eventually, I was asking myself, if I think from abundance perspective, what would be my choice? Okay, if I think with my human limited mind, I would say, okay, for, forget about him. I treated him so well, and he never gave anything back to us, and right, and he, he forget me for 10 years, and now he's back, and he, he just want to, for convenience, want to connect with me, right? All these connective talks, I had it as a human being. But when I choose to connect with my abundance being, with my God, with that abundance state, then I do. I did the right choice, and I'm I, I glad. I'm glad that I did that right choice. I resumed the connection with him and treated him again, and even you know used my um, used my abundance and to encourage him to lift him up, to believe in himself more and to look outside of his uh, small group scope and to think more about the meditation, the connections, the contributions to the world, and the purpose and meaning. So, yeah, it's just like a, how you can think from a more abundance perspective to build up your connections, okay? 360 degrees to contribute your values. And from there, you know, both your company, uh, contemplation and also your connections, these are like your source, okay? From there, you get your inner changes and transformations. And that will support you to, let's get to the third one, the most critical, critical C, okay? It's creation. I told my kids, you know, my, my son loves to read. He reads so many books, reads so fast, right? I told him, did you, what did you get from those readings? I know that did support him, right? He get a five on his, he get five, right? Five of five on his AP history. So it did serve him. But I asked him, um, all, all this kind of a learning, what inspired you? And he read a lot of uh, like a fiction books. I know it's for fun, right? He said it's for fun. Okay, it's good. He get inter entertained by those fiction books. But I'm telling him, I said, are you also getting from those inspirations to contribute to other people? That's another important thing, right? You are only intaking, intaking, get all this kind of great things inside of you or even fun from uh, entertainment into you. But what is you giving? What are you giving to this world? I encourage him to really like create his own club. It's called like a flip the page book and a, and a bike club. So he loves biking, also he loves uh, reading. So I encourage him to organize those events, like biking events, and also encourage him to share his books. He's still a little bit re uh, like reluctant. He's an introvert. He does not want to expose himself to the public, but I'm still holding him accountable and to, to like push him a little bit push, right, for those introverts, they need some push, and also, like, encourage him to 
give more. Like the more you learn, you want to give, not just intake. Otherwise, your life is not meaningful. The life is not just growing. The life is more here. Like in addition to your own growing, you want to contribute to this world. We are not animals. I know in the animal world, right? My daughter and I loves to watching all this like Disney World, um, National Geography, or National Geographic, uh, ge ge uh, Geographic, right? National Geographic. Uh, channel we love that all those kind of like animals every day are looking for food and fighting and surviving mating all this kind of thing it's just like for surviving but we are human beings we are the highest level of the all these kind of you know creators God created in this world we are here to contribute okay we're not just uh, taking we're not just eating and learning everything we are here to create okay that's that's our almost like our it's like our DNA and our nature, in our DNA and nature. And by the way, as a creator, I feel most proud in this world. Like I created two kids. I, I love them. You know, really feel like so proud. And in addition to many, many other things, now I'm creating as well at the same time, right? When you are watching my live video, I'm creating. But I'm most proud of myself is that I created two kids and uh, they are lives, right? They are true lives. And I could cultivate them, physically become a bigger, like now they are teenagers, like bigger kids, watching them growing every day. And, but more proudly, I'm like, it's really cultivating them from knowing nothing to be more knowledgeable. And more important is like wisdom, the faith and the giving part. I know that I'm proud of my, whenever my kids get a chance they are happy to contribute actually I know that they will feel happy for what they contributed even though like one time I brought my my kids to community service initially they were so re reluctant because they were so uh, feel like so embarrassed like staying um, by that like at the entrance of the community entrance and staying there we set up a booth like uh, and sharing those uh, like book nets or like uh, posters they feel like so embarrassed complain so much but later guess what after that event my son both my son and the daughter told me they most appreciate that that experience because they learned so much to overcome their inner like um, embarrassment or inner fear and shyness and help them to connect with other people to contribute and eventually they share with you that's the best okay and we had a team CEO uh, summer camp and they, they shared that story. I felt like so funny, like a little bit like, entertained to myself because initially they were so against it. They complained all the way, including on site. They complained, and felt like I felt a little bit embarrassed because on site they were like a complain because when I we are giving the book nets, they were complaining and uh, did not smile. And then I had to encourage them right to 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 give to give with some like even pretended smiles, right, kids. But then eventually they, they told me that's uh, and, and then they shared in the team CEO group. They shared that their best transformation experience. So I was super happy for that. And now creation. It's really the daily habits is most important. This is critical for all our entrepreneurs. Now we are already over 43 minutes. I, I will wrap up this okay quickly. For all our entrepreneurs, creation is the most important thing for you, okay? Look at those, like if you feel like, oh, this is too difficult, this is too time consuming, and I share so much and nobody responded, nobody liked what I shared, all this kind of whatever reasons, right? Look at, I know I will give you some successful examples like Tony Robbins, Dean Gross, I say they're super successful, but they're still creating. Like you say, oh, they have a big team. Oh, yes, they have a big team, help them to, to uh, organize some content and to re like repurpose and distribute everywhere, right? They did have that kind of a scope, kind of a big scope and scale to impact. But the core, the core there is themselves, the okay, themselves creating. You can see those, which ones are their genuine messages. And Dean Gross, I say every Monday, a similar time, 2 p.m., uh, he's also in his like inner circle to, to do the, um, to do the live every Monday and also like uh, they some of them like um, I know golden uh, Myron Goldens they are all on there like for example telegram not telegram sorry Instagram Instagram every day get on the live to share a message and I'm now gradually getting to that kind of a daily I've been daily sharing different kind of posts but not daily live yet so I'm getting there gradually sometimes I'm not sticking to that uh, because I need to prepare myself 
but I know that for the mon Momentum Monday, I've been here consistently for 90 episodes. Yeah, right? Quite soon, by the end of the year, we'll get it to 100. So, but the most important thing is keep that daily habit, consistency. Even though you just create a little bit, okay, but based on based on the contemplation and also connection part, you will get many inspirations, okay? And by the way, here I want to invite you to our upcoming Make More Content Challenge, okay? If you feel like, oh, I'm alone, it's so difficult, overwhelming for me to to like learn how to create or even I create, I don't know how good it is. You want feedback, you want like new inspirations. That Make More Content Challenge, um, October 17th to 21st, okay? This is our upcoming one. Make sure that you join us. Because there, we will share with you the best secrets. And today, we shared the, the three C's, right? Contemplation and uh, connection and creation. But on that five-day challenge, here we just uh, less than one hour. But that five-day challenge every day, for general members, I will stay one hour every day live. And for VIP members with two hours live together, we will have in-depth uh, coaching and also implementation workshop with you. Give you feedback, Q&A, everything, okay? And just learn from content purpose, content arts, content science, content strategies, and content movement to help you really master content. And better than that, better than what is the best is really make more content in less time. I would say like under 30 minutes, okay, 30 minutes to create your content. Today, for this Momentum Monday, I just use the 10 minutes, 10 minutes to create my content. And then more like another half an hour to just like a share, just distribute this marketing. You only need 10 minutes, but here I would give you more time if you're not so much like a, um, like familiar or mastery on it, like 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes, you can create a great, great content. 30 minutes, I could write a great article already, okay? And you can do a live as well. And 30 minutes. Definitely, I, I should uh, make my life shorter, okay, to, to meet that uh, like 30 minutes uh, criteria. Anyway, just uh, like 30 minutes a day to to really create something great to contribute. And if you keep this consistency, this kind of great habits, you will attract to make more content to attract more needs. You will make more content to make a bigger, greater impact. You promise that, okay? I've already witnessed so many of my clients had that transformations. By the way, if you check, I will share that link, okay? The challenge link, you will, you will see what we will introduce in the details and also what our customers, our clients are saying about it, about their transformations, their impact, their influence gained through that. All right, so that's for today. Momentum Monday, creating brings you freedom, okay? Join our movement to keep creating and keep like uh, keep contemplating okay keep uh, connecting and then keep creating so that you will contribute your best value you will gain the best meaning of your life and also really fulfill your life and at the same time transform many many other lives i will look forward to see you seeing you inside of our Mo make more content challenge all right make sure you click our link below under my video and join our movement and let make let's make the things happen and make the impact happen and your world will expand i promise that okay we'll see you soon okay bye bye